All right, guys, I know you weren't expecting it, but we are back already. And today I am joined with... Kimberly Blythe of State Farm. Of State Farm, fantastic. So you are already living the corporate life. So what did you learn from our last session? Sure. So I'm a recruiter at State Farm working here in Silicon Valley, and we're always looking for gifted individuals. And what I learned in the last session that's really important when you're looking to start your next company or move into your next opportunity to have good mentorship and accept their feedback. Uh, I thought it was very valuable information, just simple conversations uh, that you can have with people over lunch, over coffee, after hours, uh, in between meetings that can leave an impression with them and it can lead to your next opportunity. So I walked away with that bit of, of truth that I thought was very valuable. Nice. Now, is this your first Black Enterprise uh, conference at all? Yes. It oh, is. I'm very excited that I came to the Bay Area finally and I was able to carve out some time to get here. Awesome. Now, tell us a little bit more about how you uh, recruit for State Farm, for those who don't know the process. Great, yeah. So State Farm is a wonderful entity. We've been around since 1922, and I specifically look for people who are interested in managing their own business, uh, being able to have time freedom, have an unlimited um, income potential. And so I look for individuals who have success already in their current profession, whether it's a teacher, an engineer, a uh, person in finance. It doesn't matter necessarily the profession. As long as they're coachable, they have a good business mindset, they like to solve problems and help people rebound from the risks of life and be able to um, move forward in life. Because that's what State Farm is all about, recovering from the risk of everyday life, protecting your assets and moving forward. And what many people don't know is that we really give people a huge leg up. We provide pay training, $25,000 milestone bonus as you move through our training cycle and it really gives you the building blocks and the foundation to have an entrepreneurial career but not have to start from underneath ground zero. You can start a couple steps ahead of the average venture um, entrepreneur. Fantastic. What else are you looking forward to learning uh, while you're here at Tech Connect? Sure. I'm looking forward to learning more about just the industry, where we're moving, um, where technology can take us, um, how we can move out from behind the desk and the office and really make lasting connections with people as you grow your career and as you learn more about the industry and, and just grow as a person. So I'm really looking for making those connections with individuals and just having a better understanding of where technology can take us as a community of people and just in the world in general. Oh, fantastic. Everyone is saying very good information. This is great <laughs> info. And lastly, uh, if you're on social media, where can people follow up with you? Sure. Uh, one of the best ways to find me and another great resource is LinkedIn. Uh, so my name is Kimberly, K-I-M-B-E-R-L-Y, last name is Blythe, B as in boy, L-Y-T-H-E, and I will instantly pop up because I'll be connected to State Farm. Or also you can find me on Twitter at reshape for life and that's R-E-S-H-A-P-E-D-F-O-R-L-I-F-E. Oh, fantastic. Thank you so, so Great much. Thank you. Thank you. And guys, again, if you're just joining us, we are at the uh, Black Enterprise inaugural Tech Connect Summit. I am Sarita Wright, the social media manager here. If you don't know, we are live streaming segments uh, from this event. If you go to our website, you can find out what sessions and what times. Absolutely, Scope Scribe, how are you? And we have someone else coming on up joining us, Mr. George Edgar. Now, let everyone know uh, who you are and what you do, where you're from. Are you from the area? Yes, my name is George Edgar. Um, I am from, born and raised here in California, uh, originally from Southern Cal. Uh, been here in the Silicon Valley for most of the past 20 years. 20 years you've been in Silicon Valley. Yes. And what do you do here? Well, <laughs> I uh, currently run a company called Technoblaze Incorporated. My background is in electrical engineering and I gravitated towards IC chip design and all things therein. It's a pretty interesting process. And what did you learn today from our last session? Well, the, I guess the thing I've taken away from the sessions thus far is that um, there's a lot of optimism. There's a lot of people who are striving to make that forward progress, to make the, the, uh, the changes that are necessary, um, especially in the high tech world, but probably fewer changes in other, in other aspects to get us more involved in the swing of things and that's a great that's a great thing
Nice. Yes, they're saying um, intelligent man here. Yes, he is. Now, are you on social media? And if so, where can people find you? Yes, I am on social media. I can be reached at, on LinkedIn as well as E. George Edgar. And um, that'll take you to pretty much most of everything that I'm tied into. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. And anything else you want to let our audience know? What other sessions are you looking forward to? Uh, the, the, the main one I was looking forward to, I'm not sure, I thought it started at four, but th because of the alarm, I don't know, um, was one that involved um, the details of getting in, you know, more people of color involved in high tech. I've been trying to do that for the past uh, many years, and uh, it has been kind of a daunting task. It's not so much the supply side, in other words, there's a lot of people who want to come in, but getting corporate America interested in bringing on people of color. When I say color, I'm usually talking uh, African American, Latino, and, and Native American, the underrepresented minorities in, involved in high tech. Oh, fantastic. Well, thank you everyone for joining us. George, if you want to just wave to all of our scopers real quick. How you guys doing out there? All right. All right. Well, guys, again, we are just doing a little hashtag what I learned with some of our attendees. And actually, we are in the AT&T Tech Lounge. So they brought some funky products for us here. And we're going to go outside now because we are about to have a quick networking mixer before our final event just on today, which is going to be our Trailblazer Award. So, again, check our website, blackenterprise.com forward slash events forward slash TCS for the live stream schedule. Um, no, Coach Tracy, ready? No, everyone here is not C-suite level. Some people are entrepreneurs. Some people are just starting out their careers. Again, we wanted to come to Silicon Valley just to discuss all the opportunities that are here within the tech space um, that people just are not aware of. So that is why we're here. Um, but I'm going to sign off now. Thank you guys so much for joining us. And don't forget, we have five amazing HBCUs here that are doing a hackathon. They are creating a financial management app. And we want to thank AT&T because they are actually sponsoring this live stream. And we want to thank Capital One because they are sponsoring our hackathon. You got it, L. Dixon 17. Thank you, Gold Digger TV. Press Girl 77, we're going to see you guys later. One Presence, we got, actually have a lot of college students here. We have over 50 college students that we do have here at this event. All right, go Rattlers. Okay, guys, so we're going to check back in a little later. You know how we do. Um, and we'll see you guys in a bit. Bye, guys. Oh, you got it, Coach Tracy.